Folks, and this is Benny, once again, the 94th Aeroclaims Aviation Consulting Group. We've been off the air for a while, and always the case is, when you don't see us, that means we're roaming the world, taking care of projects, doing special things here and there. But we're back today, folks, and we're right here back home in Miami. Today, we're in Opelika Airport in, in Miami, and we have something very unique. We're going to show you uh, the process. We're doing a 727 NDT, Non-Destructive Testing Inspection, on one of the wings. On this particular aircraft, a 727, uh, a few weeks ago, it had an incident where a windstorm came, blew the airplane's wings over the uh, wing of another 7-2. So for safety procedures, we secured the services of Miami NDT, a uh, very proper company here based in Miami, Florida. Uh, great experience, great tooling, great equipment to do our inspection. The, uh, the technician now is on a break, so not to hamper his progress. We're going to walk through and have Chuck walk with me and show you the entire length of the wing. And I'll explain to you as we go what we're doing. So once again, let's take a walk and uh, we'll follow through. Uh, right here, we're looking at the bottom of the wing of the 727. Now we're going to walk to the end and work our way back. Now as you notice, as we're walking, these elliptical shaped openings are access panels uh, to the wing fuel tank. And why are they open? Well, that's how you get access to the ribs and, and, and the main beam of the aircraft. So here we are, the very wing tip, and we're going to look down. And as you can see, it's a straight line of open access panels. The forward slats are lowered. The flaps are lowered. And like I said, these areas are being NDT'd. Now we're going to raise the camera up. You might be able to see the word wing station all the way up there. That is the uh, structure of the wings. And all the wing stations are marked. For example, this is wing section 629.00. 610.50, and so on and so on. So these areas are being looked at uh, with an NDT into uh, any current inspection of the NDT. And it's going to prove that there's, hopefully there's no cracks, that the wing wasn't stressed out during the inspection. Um, as I said, what you're looking in here is the wing tank, which all the fuel in this wing was transferred down to the center tank. And precaution-wise, we have the open fuel cell sign right here indicating that this wing is an open fuel cell, so that is properly annotated. And as the inspection goes on, folks, we're going to come right here. I'll show you a unique pro uh, part of the airplane. This area that looks uh, very strong, which it is, this is the wing-to-body connection. These are major bolts and major rivets. This is one of the facets that holds the wing to the body. Uh, they're going to shoot this for NDT for precautionary purposes, and obviously the panel will go back. And while we're at it, uh, let's take advantage of the time that the technician's out. Like I said, we don't want to get in his way. And just take a quick look around this 7-2. We're looking here at the right-hand main landing gear. And uh, this is the famous gold wing door uh, that's synonymous to the 7-2. You can see it looks just like a gold wing. And uh, we're going to go into the wheel compartment. And what's unique about it, in the compartment here is the aircraft auxiliary power unit, uh, the APU. Now, the APU on the 7-2 is located right here in the center. The exhaust is on the other side, which we'll show you. And this is what powers the auxiliary power when the aircraft engine is not on, like electrical, pneumatics, uh, things of that nature. As we go up, folks, we'll see a, an array of cables and pulleys. Uh, this is what controls the flight controls. And you might have heard the term fly-by-wire. Uh, well, this is where it came. These are the wires. Uh, everything here is turnbuckle. Everything rotates on pulleys. A very simple mechanism. Uh, not as elaborate as electrical pulses, much similar to, to an Airbus, uh, but again, it's proven. We're going to walk underneath the belly and walk down on the bottom of the aircraft here and make our way over to the other side and uh, take a look here in the main wheel well and you see the other side of the APU and then you follow out folks, you see the exhaust coming right out over the wing area right there and we'll take a look at the gear trunnion so, it's a quick walk around the 7-2. As you all know, the 7-2 has been around for many, many years. Very reliable aircraft. Uh, still going. Uh, we get to see the engines here, positions 2 and 3, as we come by the tail. And over to the ramp on the end, there are the 7-2s out there. Now, the one at the very far end, that's in the Capital Airline colors, Capital Cargo, I should say, that was the aircraft that had the incident with this one with the wings going over each other due to windstorm. Uh, more areas that open up for inspection here, folks. And you can see the flaps are in the down position with the trailer and edge flap, mid-four flap. 
and we'll work our way back underneath the wing that we're looking at. So uh, again, just to share a little bit with you, uh, our purpose here today is to make sure things go well uh, for the benefit of our client, uh, report back to them with any findings. Uh, the inspection is continuing through the rest of the day. Uh, the technician, as I mentioned, stepped out for a bit. But uh, again, this is a precautionary inspection. Obviously, there's damages that visually one cannot see, but the, me the method of MDT, non-destructive testing, will warn us or give us a heads up should there be any cracks in the stringers that we mentioned. So I hope you found this informative, folks. And once again, this is Benny with the 94th Federal Claims Aviation Cross Holding Group, always in the thick of things reporting here from Opelika, Florida, Miami. Bye-bye.